Hello developers! In this video, we are checking out the courses on webdevsimplified.com, aka Kyle Cook. Many of you are probably familiar with his YouTube channel. He has an awesome YouTube channel, but he also has his own learning platform. And I have access to these courses, Learn React Today, Learn CSS Today, and JavaScript Simplified. I'm gonna start off with Learn React Today because that's the first one on here. I'm gonna go hit resume course. These courses are video based. This type of interface is probably familiar to a lot of developers. If you've taken a Udemy course, or pretty much any other popular platform, 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 holy smokes, Plural Site, Udacity, any of those big ones, they're video based. As the title suggests, Learn React Today, it's a pretty short course. This is in stark contrast to a lot of these bigger courses. I've seen React courses that are 30, 40, 50 hours. So if you're just trying to learn the basics and not only the basics, but if you want to do a project or two, this could be something you're looking for. So let's check out the table of contents here. I'm going to let this play introduction and setup, a couple videos, then it goes right into the project. Once you set up your coding environment and learn what exactly react is, you go right into the project. And most of these videos are pretty short. It's project based learning in this course. So as you're building the project, you learn about the concepts. So for example, lecture four, project one is JSX. This is a 10 minute lecture where you also code along while learning the concepts to build this simple counter application. Now, this is not something you would put in a portfolio, probably, hopefully not, but it shows you the basics so you can get up and running so you can start building bigger, more complex, more interesting, perhaps even fascinating projects. So after you build that first project, you go into the second project here while still learning some of these concepts, also doing some CSS work, not a lot. And basically it's a CRUD app, create, read, update, delete for food recipes. Now, again, this course is called Learn React Today. So you're not spending 15 hours on this project. You can literally do this entire course in a few hours. Again, in stark contrast to a lot of these other React courses that I personally think are really good. For example, Andre Negoy's React course, hugely popular, brilliant production values, excellent information, great projects, but that's going to be something that will probably take up months of your time. So learn react today, 60 bucks. It's not a subscription. It's a one-time cost. You buy it, you get it for the rest of your life and any updates that he adds same format with learn CSS today. So hopefully this will log me in sweet. It did. What will you get? 61 videos, 21 project tutorials, nine project exercises, future updates and access to the discord. Let's get back into the course. Same layout, nothing too crazy here. This is, this is the same layout as the react course. You start off with the CSS fundamentals, how to add CSS, your first CSS project. This is what I like about his platform too, is that it's project based and it's not hours of lecture before you start building stuff. You can start building things in the first 15 minutes. So this is the simple blog styling project with your CSS. Then we go down here, more lectures, input component library project walkthrough, module one, final project, ooh, a portfolio project, what? So you're styling this with the CSS that you're learning throughout this first module here. And then it's the second module layout and positioning. Even though this is a day long, a theoretically day long course, you learn Flexbox and you learn the grid. And also too, in this project you're doing, or in this module, rather you're doing multiple projects, a modal project, a nav bar project, a grid homepage project. So basically everything he talks about, you're building miniature projects. So again, pretty much mirrors the layout as the React course, but that is where the similarities stop because JavaScript simplified is not something you're going to learn in a day. 
It's not an hour long course. It's not a two hour long course. It's a very, very long course. JavaScript Simplified is so big, it has its own URL. We'll go down here because there's some important stats you guys probably wanna see. So it's 13 hours of content, 74 videos and 10 modules. If you plan to get through this course in only 13 hours, good luck. It will take you over a month to get through everything with all the projects and exercises. And then that's just for the beginner course though. Oh yes, there's also an advanced course. That's 14 hours, 65 videos and nine modules where you learn about security, testing and how to write clean code, multiple projects, countless exercises, etc., etc., etc. This is where you choose what type of developer you want to be. If you just want to start with the basics, he's got you covered. JavaScript simplified for beginner, 13 hours, 74 videos complete package gets you everything here and the advanced course which is a total of 27 hours of content and then the big kahuna the premium package which is all of this stuff 40 hours of content and six large bonus projects plus interviews with successful self-taught devs on how to land your first dev job and all this stuff here now me being a woman of excess you know I got myself the premium package, so we're gonna go ahead and check this out. Whoops, okay, I forgot about this, it's kinda quirky. This is just gonna go to the landing page, the sales page, but I have to go up here to products. And this is gonna get me all my JavaScript stuff. I don't wanna take an hour to show you guys all of these features, but we'll go here and here, and maybe even here, and we'll show each of these some love. So this is the beginner course. This is the advanced course. And then these are the bonus projects that come with the Big Kahuna premium package. So let's start here with the beginner and you can see same basic setup. There's 74 lectures and then it starts out just getting you set up the mindset, getting you set up basic variables. For each of these topics, he demonstrates right here in his code editor, how these things work while he explains why they do what they do. Advanced variables, basic DOM, control flow, while loops, recursion, all the stuff you'd expect um, with basic JavaScript. And then we have some projects down here too. In lecture 53, you start building a MIDI piano. Fun project. So when you tap the keys on this little piano, it makes a noise and you build that with JavaScript. There are some other projects in here as well a Google Maps clone. This was recorded in 2021, and I know he's on top of his updates. So this is a very modern course. He talks about modules and bundlers, all the good stuff you'd expect in an ES6 Plus course. That is the basic course, and then we go to the advanced course. Same layout, nothing too ridiculous, but now we're talking about advanced features like maps, sets, generators, and iterators. Fortunately, a lot of this stuff, if you know basic JavaScript, it gets easier. So yes, this lecture is nine minutes talking about object getters and setters, but it's a lot easier to digest, in my opinion, than something like closures, scoping and hoisting as a code newbie. Well, there are also some projects here too, Minesweeper project. He also has some sections on OOP, object oriented programming. You also build Minesweeper again, but this time using functional programming. So that's a fun challenge. Functional programming is definitely not newbie friendly. Glad he included that in the advanced JavaScript because this is this can be tricky, but totally doable. And you build a project, so that's always helpful getting these concepts committed to memory, or at least getting them familiar with you. And then winding down the course, we have a section on testing, security, and... This to me is an especially exciting addition because I'm gonna be honest, I do review a lot of JavaScript courses. I've been going over them, reviewing them for years. I don't think I've seen in any other course a section on clean code. This is an important addition in my opinion because this is something that brings the theoretical, it bridges the gap between theoretical and real world. Clean code is something that's super important, but at the same time, we see a lot of code in the wild that is not clean. Coming into a junior dev job, knowing about clean code, knowing about the facade pattern, like that is a big 
Plus. Not only that, but in this module, you do a project called Color Game. So you get to practice that clean code as well. Finally, in this Big Kahuna Premium Package, we have the six bonus projects right here and some zip files to download these projects if you want to work with them. Tooltip, Trello clone, Pictionary clone, custom database, an e-commerce project, and a Google Calendar clone. A huge course. Going back and comparing it, you can see, I mean, just by a surface view that JavaScript Simplified is a totally different beast from Learn React Today and Learn CSS Today. I enjoyed all three of these courses. I recommend them to code newbies. I'm not wondering, oh my gosh, does this guy even know what he's talking about? Like, obviously he does, and he's very good at explaining these topics. All in all, I give Web Dev Simplified two thumbs up. Excellent smaller platform. If you're trying to get out of the hamster wheel of Udemy type courses, definitely check this guy out. Links in the description box. Also, we recently interviewed Kyle over at realtoughcandy.io. Check out that interview. He has some really great insight into why he started this platform, how he got started and advice for new developers. So lots of good stuff over there too. As always, developers, thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video.